Welcome to the Pilgrim's Project. Hey people, it's the Pilgrim and welcome to my underwater base. The concept behind this build was that a lost temple from Atlantis had been discovered and the base had been integrated into it afterwards. So I built the main structure from stone, added vacuum compartments into the centre and then used tech to enclose the whole temple and just to provide a bit of defence really. The whole thing's sort of based on a pantheon which is a temple to house all the gods. It's inspired by ancient Greek and Roman architecture mainly, like massive round support columns holding up the main building and the dome in the centre. Uh, the, the whole place is actually hexagonal. Each section is about 12 foundations long and then I built more large columns coming up from there and then an archway on each side and then built the roofs coming off that so it all met in the middle. The smaller arches around the outside are just aesthetic. Same for the glass in the roof. If you really wanted to, you could sort of fill all that in. You can fill all the walls in right away around the outside and just have a couple of behemoth doors in. If you built it on land, you could have it as like a, a main base and there's tons of room in there to get like wrecks and stuff in. Same for the small outlying buildings there that are just basically pens for the Mosasaur. You see how big the place is now. This Plesiosaur can just swim straight down the main entrance here and then straight inside. There's tons of room in there for him. I've got a lot of um, Megalodon and some Stingrays down there. I've got some Dunkleosteus up top. There's another plesiosaur in here somewhere as well, on the other side. And then you can see how I've built the um, vacuum compartments now. I used one in the centre and then built out in squares and sort of raised it as I went. Um, I wanted like one area where I'd be able to fit a tech replicator in. And there's plenty of stuff in there. Plenty of room basically, you know, for a, a decent sized base. And there's the other plesiosaur. What I did with the angler fish, um, the, the lighting down here was just awful. I had the big glowing um, seaweed out front, and that sort of that gave a, a really decent amount of light. But like round the outside, and that once you got inside the building, it was dead dull. So I just used the angler fish everywhere and sort of used them as uh, living light. <laughs> the tech I painted it all green in sections, and then the actual tech doors I uh, used orange and it gave it that sort of greenish glow you got all the light reflecting off it and everything looks really good a lot of the uh, artifacts that are used once they're in the water the light gets diffused like red light you can't see underwater and the red artifacts you just got no glow off them whatsoever it was sort of a dull blue which I thought was pretty clever actually for the graphics art just moving this donkey down here so you can see it from like this viewing port but if you're breathing as well it's not a bad place there's not much down here that can sort of get through any of the gaps uh, maybe the electric eels and stuff but you don't see many of them around there i think when i came down here there was one squid a bit further down the trench but no, it was pretty quiet good spot got rays in there and then we'll go inside the compartments and i'll show you what i built in there just like a fully working base really I think with living underwater it's usually like a, a secondary base you know like um it's never going to be your main base because obviously like if you, when you're fighting bosses and stuff you need all your, your land dinos for that but i did want to build somewhere where it was like a home away from home so there's like nothing you could want for if you were down here so um i grow a load of my own crops down here and they just look awesome down you know in the um vacuum compartments like you've got like a proper hydroponics thing going on 
so you've got plenty of veggies and things there. Built like a little office section here, and there's loads of vaults around. Get all your gear and put all your scuba diving equipment in there. And the whole thing's built over like three levels, and this second level was like production and crafting. So you've got your tech replicator, plenty of smithies, loads of storage again, places for all your blueprints to go. And I thought I'd build a little place where you could sort of mass produce uh, shock darts. Because while you're down here, you could go like farm biotoxin and stuff. Um, great for taking, you know, taming giggers and the bigger dinosaurs. Got some fridges in, so we we'll to cook all that fish meat you'd be collecting up. Little kitchens. I suppose you could make a bit of kibble down here. Everything's there you'd need anyway. Well, that way you can see all your tames from like inside as well. It's got like a giant aquarium feel to it, it's really cool. This that this little area here is like a bit of a canteen and I stuck the um, fireplace in with some benches around it. Just seems to be a place to chill out. I always end up building somewhere like that in my builds lately. Got a cryopods down here so you can store some of your dinosaurs out of the way. That's the main entrance from the inside the base. I think it took about eight generators to keep this whole place running. Um, I dropped a couple of hundred element in each one and over about three or four days it's only used a couple of elements so you shouldn't have to worry about them running out anytime soon if you can get enough elements together to put in them. Got sleeping pods in this section just thought I'd do like a bit of a bedroom. Over here just sort of at the top of the crafting stations. See all the roof sections all built in there. Another little crafting area somewhere to smelt a bit of metal in case you need to repair weapons and things. Yeah, and just did this as like a bit of a viewing port or like if you're breeding you could put your, your babies outside this area and just keep an eye on them so you don't have to stay outside all the time. I remember when I was playing on a PvE cluster, there was only ever a couple of people that put any real effort into taming all the underwater dinos. And they had some awesome stat squids and stuff and everyone used to just go to them to trade for all the underwater dinos but um having a base like this would have been pretty cool at the time uh so i'll just show you what it looked like with um without all the tech building inside it this is just the bare bones of the temple all the columns are in there and um, every little sort of side is totally symmetrical and then i was just putting the tech bmf doors in the bottom a few dino gates at the top and then um, tech doors you know to finish off the archway and that was a sort of how I enclosed each section off um, I've got tons of screenshots from the whole build so I could put them together in so, some sort of you know how to build video if anyone's interested the main columns in the center um, they're not actually needed to hold the roof up the roof's just sort of freestanding straight off the arches I just put them in because they look good and then you can see how I sort of built the roof from here it's got that open section in the middle and then I just used um, slope roofs just to sort of finish it all off so it wasn't like dead stepped you know all the way up and then put the glass in between giant crabs hanging around on it just look good like scavenging over the building yeah so this is my first proper underwater base I'm glad I picked that sort of temple design because I got to have a bit of a play around use my imagination a little bit I wanted to have like the taxidermy stands with the dinosaurs on them, you know, in different places. So there's like statues, like running down the length of this main entrance here. Um, I think it works okay. It'd be better if they were all like grey and stone coloured, or if you could paint the actual taxidermy stand itself. But um, yeah, I'm still quite happy with the way that, that panned out. You'd have to do a lot of cave runs to collect all these artifacts up. I just like the way they looked <laughs> and then I did a little bit there in this alcove and you see statues like that carved into those alcoves on, on the ancient Greek buildings and even now like in America especially in like Washington and places where they've sort of revised that what is it called it Greco-Roman style but yeah I'm really impressed with the place I really do, do like it a lot I think it would look cool on land as well the land it's built on is relatively flat but um, it's all built on pillars anyway so I managed to sort of get that bottom floor nice and level 
some places where it's like a little bit up and down. But to be honest, when you're down here, it's, it's weird, like, the, the proportions of everything, you can't really tell how big a space is. Might just be me. But I really didn't think I'd have enough room to build something this big on here, to be honest. I like these little alcove, sort of little side temple things to house the Moses in. They're just sort of half columns with a um, artifact in the middle. Transmitter. Yeah, and there's still tons of room in here to get other dinosaurs in and stuff. And it's just a bit of a interesting place, really. I like it. There's actually artifacts in between all these columns that, that sort of collar I've got around the middle. Um, and there was like a green glow coming out of everything. And there's artifacts inside each column on the floor as well. Um, before I got all the light in here and stuff, you could just see like the, the artifact glowing around the, the bottom of the column look really good but it sort of got drowned out later on with all the extra light and there we have it guys my underwater base atlantis i don't need to ramble on about it anymore i don't think yep was a cool build um it's all done with no mods on official settings uh clips not active or anything like that so it's all buildable on official servers and any console um like i said i've got loads of screenshots and stuff so i can put a little how to build video together if you're interested Stick around for 10 seconds while I put these little cards up on the end of the video. Yeah, click my face to subscribe, that's well appreciated because my channel's doing quite well at the moment and growing. I'll put the Tree Titan, Cabin and Winterfell from Game of Thrones. That'll do. Right, check out the rest of the channel if you get a chance guys and thanks for watching, catch you later.